Hey guys, Cameron at Lumberjack. Welcome to the walkthrough for our Sorrento Series 2 Lumberjack pod. I'm going to start at the front. On the front of the drawbar, we've got our DO35 hitch, which is a great all rounder off road unit. We've got hot and cold taps. Um, obviously, we've got handbrake and jockey wheel, foldable jockey wheel. We've got two 9 kilo uh, gas holders gas regulator and we've got space for two jerry cans, two 20 litre jerry cans. You'll notice at the front you've got a metal uh, a metal receptacle for your diesel. Uh, we've gone to metal these days with our latest diesel heater uh, because the, the old style plastic ones will actually, um, through time, the, the, the diesel does go off and cause some problems. So that's the latest, latest spec, long term, um, long term use. At the front of the trailer, I've got our toolbox, which has been specifically designed for the 95 litre fridge. So if I jump in here, you'll notice that it's, it's vented. So we actually have electric fans. We've got access to, uh, uh, to 12 volt through two different, uh, two different forms. We've got a fan that we can turn on and off and we have 240 volts. So all of our trailers are coming standard with a diesel heater and 240 volt connection uh, with all Series 2 products. Fridge slide, 95 litre fridge. This goes in here and it can be obviously connected to 240 or 12 volt by Anderson plug. Moving along, with the Sorrento, with Series 2 it's all about suspension. So underneath here, which we'll show you in just a moment, is our Alpha suspension with King Spring. So King's are the VF Supercar spring manufacturer. So we've teamed up with Alpha and uh, Kings and Pedder's Shocks to deliver an absolutely superb ride on all of these trailers. They're all tuned, all the springs are different for every model of Lumberjack to get superb performance. So we can see underneath, nice and clearly on this gray unit, we've got the green Alpha trailing arms. We've got the yellow King springs and you can see quite clearly all, Aussie, all, all Aussies know that the Pedders uh, at the back there are the red units. Obviously built for the off-road, so aluminium bash plates uh, wrap around all of our water tanks. And if we just step back a little bit, you'll see that uh, it's nice and easy to set up your step to, to jump inside. We've gone to a, a nice sleek flat-lined uh, window instead of the old bubble style. you also notice that this one's in grey, so all of our trailers now come in two colour options. The original white with, with orange decals or grey with green. And you notice underneath that the uh, trailing arms also match the decals. Um, stepping back, we've also partnered with Iron Man. So our base awning is a, is a fantastic Iron Man product with really solid uh, knuckles. Very quick and easy to set up. The legs all come internal so they quickly fold down so it's a, it's a couple of minutes set up. On the fly. So the idea of a pod camper, ladies and gentlemen, is pulling up in your campsite, turn off the ignition, the thing is ready to sleep in. The only work you would do is if you want to start setting up to cook. So a couple of minutes to pop your awning up, a couple of minutes to fold out your cooker. Let's have a look at the cooker. So this one folds out of the wall and you'll notice up in here we've got the two burner Dometic. So all the Lumberjack products have been updated in the last 12 months. Series 2 just comes standard with a Dometic two burner on the on the pods and a three burner on our camper trailers and our hybrid caravans. So this one folds out, the gas line then pops out the back and we plug that into our, our gas bayonet fitting down underneath the trailer down here. So really convenient. Sweeping around the back, you'll notice the lid if you've ever seen the Sorrento camper in the past, whether it's online or in person, the door used to open up to the side, which gave some great storage. But what we what we really want to do with Series 2 is make them bulletproof. And this new lift up lid, fantastic seal at the top, very quick, easy access. Uh, obviously waterproof at the top. So you've actually got an instant cover. So as soon as you pull up, you don't even need to put your awning up, but you can jump into the kitchen and, um, and start to prepare a meal. Inside here, we've got plenty of cupboard space. We've got our control unit giving you uh, water, uh, voltmeter, and access to turning your power on and off. 
uh, we've got a we've got a 240 GPO at the back. So for those of you that uh, like to go camping with a coffee machine, or any of your uh, electric appliances, you're ready to go. Hot and cold water. Hot and cold water. So we'll get to it in a minute. But all of our trailers come with a with a separate Firefly hot water service and stand. So we can show you, and there's another video that can show you how to plumb that up. So you're actually feeding cold water out of your tanks into the hot water service using your own gas, feeding it back in so you've got hot water on tap out of your campsite. Underneath here, we've got uh, our battery bay. So all the wiring uh, and fuse work is up in here, also the charger. Because it's got 240, just like a caravan, plugged into the side, it's when you're at home, just all you need to do is plug it into 240 and the thing is automatically charging, so it's ready to rock. If you're staying in a caravan park, obviously, uh, longer term, that's convenient. If you're staying out in the bush, the Anderson plug at the front of the drawer bar allows you to pop your uh, solar panels out to keep the battery topped up. Quickly just moving to this side, we'll, we'll touch on the 240. So same as, a, uh, same as a caravan. It's the exact same components that we use in a caravan uh, to plug your 240 into. We've got our water fillers. We've got a back tank and a front tank. Uh, 40 litre and 80 litre tanks. So I've got 120 litres. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll move inside. So join me inside. Hey guys, come on in. Welcome to Sorrento Series 2. So inside our trailer skews the plastic wrap, but this one's brand new, ready to go. Uh, queen size bed inside. We've got plenty of cupboard space. Actually, underneath the bed is also quite a lot for um, clothing, shoes as well. Uh, we've got a DVD player. So you've got your monitor at the back. You'll notice in the back corners, we've got uh, two vents, one in either side. One blows out the hot air from the diesel heater. One takes the cabin air back in to recirculate. Um, we've got diesel heater controls. Diesel heater is actually um, remote control as well. So you can turn it on from outside before you jump in. Speakers. We've got uh, flywire and, as well as um, as well as our window covers to keep uh, nice and dark, and removable monitor. <clears throat> We've got a vent up the top that is powered, so you can actually suck the air out or blow it in, whatever whatever you feel is uh, is more comfortable. The doors um, the doors also are two part, so we can actually open those up and sleep with flywire or during the day with flywire or close them up if you're staying in a cold climate.